going on with my foot and everything. Hello, it's Jane. How are you? Uh, oh, I've got a lot to do today. Well, I want to share some things with you. So here I am. Let's do art right. Take my little sign away. And uh, yesterday, I've shared it on my Instagram. I was in my studio and I did a little outside tour of my art studio and all that sort of stuff. It was really fun. Go and check it out. A giant sphinx or hawk moth was sitting there, absolutely gorgeous. And anyway, it's flown off. We came and checked on it last night. And it's really, it was exactly the colours of the moth um, pigments. So this is the moth dust, which is an extension of all these subtle colours from the fairy dust pigments, which are all these rainbow colours. These are um, colours you can make inks and watercolours from. Uh, so I'm just, um, that's why the moth dust will be coming out at some point, I think. And these are an iridescent, like I said, pigment. You can make these gorgeous watercolours. Some of them change colour as you're looking at them. They're, this is like peach and gold. This is like from the petrol and grey. They're all these lovely subtle colours, which let bright colours sing. So I've got those there. And I do have my moth uh, stamp here from the Magic Within um, stamp set. I could even use her. I could use her with my skinny bits. And I've got a few things I want to show you. With the skinny dip ink, because I didn't even get to show you this actual uh, stencil set the other day, and it's another one of these layerable stencils. Anyway, how are you going? I'm all excited because I'm about to head off to a uh, protest for the forests, and uh, I'm just not into. I think they shouldn't be cutting down the tall trees because that's what koalas live in and the kidneys live under and what's the point of green energy and all the other things if you're just going to chop trees down it's we know better so there's a big protest going all around australia and my mum is um she was arrested for that she actually stood for parliament she's a fashion designer sorry i'm just getting my camera sorted so she's actually going to be she's coming out of coming out to fight for the trees and uh anyway it's very It'll be, it's important, I feel, for myself to get that. So anyway, so we're back. We want to do this, do that, and everything else. <laughs> so who knows quite what's going to happen. But let's, for a start, the first thing I want to happen is just get a couple of these little faces down on the page. And uh, I'm just going to use my Skinny Dip ink because... It's super awesome. And if you don't know what Skinny Dip Ink is, that is these new little guys. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Babs. Hey, Debbie. Enchanted Dreams. Benny. Linda. <gasps> Julie. Joy. Oh, look at all these lovely names. Oh, so nice to see. So Skinny Dip are these new inks that are part of my collaborations that I do with Creative Expressions. They're made in the UK. There's 12 colours, all sorts of different skin tones, and, of course, I mean, people don't boil down to 12 skin tones, but of course we can mix them and make them deeper by layering them and lighter by diluting them. So really we have a huge range of skin colour. I've put all of them into these little mini misters, so I get a nice little uh, mist happening. And this set that I'm about to show you is um, a layerable... Oh, actually, I'll show you how cute they are in their little packets. Um, this is the stencil, the side chick stencil. It looks a bit odd just sitting there on its own. You're like, what is that? But it matches with the side chick stamp. So this is a little turned three-quarter face. This one's a little bit more turned than this one, but they both match up with the stencils. And you've also got some hair here as well to play with. So... I absolutely adore. I think I've used this particular stamp more than any other so far in the in the new set anyway. Uh, so I might start with a little bit of Sun Blessed and I'm going to spray this one through and so this is going to give that nice little uh, bit of a freckled look but if I come back over 
I'm going to use silk stockings. No, yes, silk stockings. So this will dilute that a little. And if you've got any questions, please ask. I'm sort of, as you can hear probably in my voice, I'm sort of on a little bit of a, um, I'm sort of three feet above the air, I feel like. Oh, where's my little sponge? I'm feeling very experimental and arty and I just wanted to come down and um, just do a little bit of art. Now, if I want my freckled look back, I'll have to come back uh, and do a little overspray later. Oh, I've got a bit of an overspray there. That's all right. Right. Oh, and I've put a bit of dust on there. I had a bit of, must have had a bit of dust. Oh, yes, there it is. I've got a dusty little heart there. A dusty bottom. Okay. So we can spray through with the ink. You can also use stamp pad ink, of course, and pounce that through. But we can also use, because this is just, it's a stencil, so you just use it like every other stencil on the planet. Um, we can do layer cake, uh, or we can um, pop through. Now, wait a minute. I want to be able to put my stamp on here. So, well, I've got, one stamp goes one way and one goes the other way. So you've got uh, all your options covered. So that one, that'll be her on there. Okay, so I want to make sure this is going this way, this one. Okay. No, that doesn't seem right. Oh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay. I'm all super excited. Oh, should we do her here? I just wanted to do different, um, just show you how different materials can work with the same stencils. Sometimes we forget. If I just show you one thing, you might think that's all they're good for. Well, my goodness me, no. So I'm just picking a colour. And I'm starting off with mid-tones. Um, and then I can always make things lighter and darker with my shading and colouring. Just quickly checking. Oh, and Angus is actually here to help me with questions. I'm very lucky that he came down. Yes, you can. And in fact, I would, uh, someone asked a question, can you use ink to, the ink to an uninked stamp pad and use it as an ink? Yes, like you can with any ink, but stamping ink's got different ingredients. It's a little bit stickier. So I'm, what I'm also doing here while I'm talking, uh, I've got a skinny mini brush. I love this for um, what this technique that I'm about to show you. I've got to hold the stencil down. I could tape it down if I wanted to as well. Um, but this gives me a nice little... Um, just the right amount of paint it seems and um, I'm talking too much I've just got to concentrate on this at the same time oh I need a bit more paint I think <gasps> now I've moved it actually I should do a different color so I get a little bit of variation which always looks good um, yeah so you can I actually even paint the stamp um, with a water brush just with the new ink but it's not a stamping ink in that, you know, the stamping inks have that little bit of stickiness, so they stick onto the stamp pad. So I would have, have used that sort of ink on the stamp first, and then you can use the other types of inks uh, on top of it. It just seems to stick a little bit better, but you can experiment with it. That's the joy of stamps and stencils is you've got that extra experimentation time. Uh, so I've just had a, a bit of a slapdash effect. If you're um, not new here, you would have seen me doing my little slapdashes before. What's going on with my camera today? We seem very high up in the air. Things seem to be under tension. We don't want tension, no. So I've got acrylic, I've got my skinny dip. Um, I could even do a little bit of a lay cake, a little facey poo, why not? Uh, I'll probably use my, um, I might get a little bit of layer cake out. I could even use one of my sponges now. So that got, because I've been using inks and so forth, I don't want to be using something that's going to transfer the wrong colour. And so I'm just dipping that in the water a little. Oh, I might even get this, the tiramisu. So I've got three colours in there. Let's see what happens when we do that. Let's experiment, shall we? I'll turn this face around. So we've got a little bit of everything happening. Oh, I need a bit of more moisture, I think. And I've got all three of those colours. Oh, there's purple coming through. No, 
that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and if I've got the deeper colour there. So I'm just more showing you that you can just pounce that layer cake through. Um, I'm not sure if the using the striped layer cake like that is really something I would recommend. Let me wait and see how it turns out first. But we like an experiment. And usually the uneven skin tone uh, looks fabulous. So we'll just, it's more the materials. And we're just getting a little bit of extra texture there from the outset. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of trouble with my, something's going on. Anyway, well, it's nothing major, so it's okay. And, well, let's pounce the, um, I might actually do one more spray. So I've used that one there, and I used her there, and I've used her, is that her? So I'll use the little more rounded face one, yeah, this one, this way. Okay, so I've, I've got all four combinations. Here I've got enough room for the hair, and we'll just see what happens. It's more of a little shootout. And then I've got my moth stuff too that I want to try and integrate. Uh, so let's do a skinny dip again, and let's go in. I might go with Sun Blessed. I might spray again, I think. So I will just... Wherever I don't want the ink to go, I just need to just make a little dam, a little coverage. Use that as a weight. There we go. <laughs> and I'm just going to spray that ink and... Um, Oh, there's something nice happening there. I might use this. Um, I don't know if I want that heavy shadow right in the middle. That's not going to suit me. But a few little freckles around here and at the sides, that's going to look cute. Um, and if I was being frugal, I can always keep my ink and use it somewhere else. You've seen me do that before. Right, now I can use uh, this around here for hair as well, but I think I might, I'll do the stamping first, I think. Just have a quick look at little questions. Hey Nancy, yes, lovely skin colours. Yes, the skin, well they are the colour, well skin colours, we are the same colours as our dogs really, mostly. <laughs> Next we start dyeing them in bright party colours. So of course the stamp, um, I, I can't reverse the actual stamp itself, but I can use the stamp on both uh, of the little faces I've designed it so that it's open enough for you to do that. And let's use the, we talked about the skinny dip as a stamping ink, so we might do that. I just need to take a few things off my desk <clears throat> and stupidly I've come down here without a hair clip and now I'm boiling hot but I have uh, handy helpers so I've got a, a way around that huh? oh just a hair clip I'm good oh thank you Angus looking after me right um What did I, oh, what did I, I was like, what did I just do with the stamps? Ah. Okay. Clear acrylic uh, stamp block. Just going to pop that on there. And I've got the grid on here. I suppose it might help line things up, but I've really got the, <laughs> the grid on there so I can find the, the stamp block because having clear acrylic things just floating around on the table just is not good. Makes life difficult. So I'm going to use the colour Rococo. This is um, dry enough to stamp on. This has had the sticky type of ink on it before. So I'm hoping that this will just uh, stick on there here enough. 
test so that I can get uh, an impression. I could do a test first, of course. So this will just be light, and then I can uh, create what I want. Well, it will also give a little bit of a watercolour effect. Oh, no, that's gone well. Good. A little bit of a water colour effect. So it's just going to look nice and soft, but I can also use a normal old ink. Now, I've completely lost my squid ink. I don't know where it is. Uh, so I've got my little secret sauce one happening here. And I'm going to pop this face here. And, oh, poo, I didn't do that very well. I wonder, because that worked, so the ink is still on there, I just didn't, usually I stand up and press because I'm up on things and I just, it just didn't get a good enough impression on there. Um, I'm just going to stamp it again. Um, I'll try and add a little bit more ink just in the middle. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll just add a bit more ink in there. I'll just try and line it up as best I can. There'll be a bit of an over stamp, but I think I'll be able to move with it. Mm. Okay. And let's do this one. But also, I'll show you while this is just drying. In a sec, I'll show you some of the other. I think I showed you in the video the other day. Actually, oops. That sounded like glass pens. That's not a good sound. I'm going to use this is the uh, suntan squid ink. If I stamp in this lighter colour, it just makes it easier to integrate in uh, to um, whatever else is coming on top of it. So whatever I decide to put on top, I'm just going to add a little bit of this um, sea anemone on top as well in the squid ink. So this is a waterproof ink. And the Skinny Dip ink is a layerable ink. It is a water media. It does have that watercolour effect. Depending on what... Ooh, I love the colour that that has made those two. Mm -mm. Well, that wasn't a very good... Should I give it another little bump? I might go over with the purple as well. No, I'll do a different colour. I might do... This will go greenish. Um... Be bold, Jane. Be bold. That'll that'll be a bit more turquoise, just not as greenish. Then go with that, and oh, this storage is so good. We've sold out of this particular one, but oh, all of my storage that I've created it just works so well for me, anyway. Just so good. Okay. So this will be a bit of a mess because I'm over stamping again, but I don't actually mind an over stamp. I know it's not perfect, but to me it gives sort of like a little bit of a wiggly woggly 3D kind of thing. And it's just, it's only a little start for whatever is going to come next. So I'll pop that out of the way. And uh, any other questions, Gus? Uh, Kerry. Kerry, hey, hey, Kerry. Or if you wanted to get on with other things, Gus, you can. Sorry? Yeah. Is anyone else going to the march in March? It's on all over Australia in different places. Oh, I suppose we better get going actually. So this is the unicorn uh, brush pen. Oh, how did Jess get out there? All oh, right. Thank 
Thank you. Why? Gosh, this is beautiful. So this is one of the new white paint pens. This is still drying, so this is dry. Oh dear me. Can you take them all the way, Gus? Um, let's go with our moth dust. Let's uh, go with some soft colour on the face a bit of iridescence because this will be very pretty now when any iridescent color any metallics we really need to let them activate if you just go straight into the pan and use them um, layer cakes will let you do that but even layer cakes with the metallics and things they will take that extra second or two it's just the way they are so I've seen people use them online like a metallic watercolor and sort of pan it uh, it's just that they just don't know yet that you've got to let things activate first. I'm going to add this colour, I think, for cheek. Ooh! Not in the eyes. We don't need metallic peach in the eyes. So we'll have to wait till that dries to really get it. But the difference, a little bit of white in the eyes and a little bit of, to make, that helps the eyes to stand out, and a bit of life in the cheeks makes such a difference uh, to things. Now I've also got these cute little hairdos that live on the stencil. So we've got a crown and some flowing hair and a little cloud, what I call a cloud do. So we've got our, a cloud of curly hair. So I can use that one and pounce through and use this or sketch through whatever. Or I could use this one, just have to flip it around. Or I could just draw whatever I feel like. See how you can create the different ones and you could come straight up here and not put the crown on. I just think, why not have a crown? Why not? Although, you know, watching the media go harass poor Kate Middleton. <sighs> Who would want to wear a crown? Seems all crazy. Right, this colour here. I don't know why Angus has left me with the barking dog. Uh, so this is, I can't remember the name, but these are part of all that moth dust um, colours. I think I put them away. So yeah, there's Bella, Sphinx, Death's Head, <laughs> Fork Moth, um, just various uh, moths. The day flying moths ended up in some of the butterflies, because day flying moths sometimes are very beautiful. And the difference between a moth and a butterfly is not much. Uh, it's, um, there are some little differences. Is usually moths have hairy antenna, and butterflies have more of a club. But there's always exceptions, especially with insects. I'm going to add this pink to her, but I could also, of course, add uh, some of our skinny dip pinks. There's a beautiful um, soft, soft. Peach and Ruby Tuesday is the other one. Um, where is it? This uh, soft focus, this pinky. So I might even just, I'm just going to pop it here for just this soft, soft pink. Just, um, just have an idea for the, I've got these freckles going off to the side there, but I just want to have a little bit of depth coming in, a little bit of depth here. And because I've got different, I've got layer cake, I've got ink, and I've got the acrylic, the inks are going to work a little bit differently over the top of each one. <gasps> yeah. Oh, can you see that iridescence? I don't know if you can. It's just, you just have to trust me that it's rather gorgeous. 
And I've got my little moss wings. I'm just going to get my little moss out. I've got my little toadstools there too. Mm -hmm. I think my moth fits on this little small stamp block. And I'm going to use just my black ink for now. Oh, maybe I should use my purpley ink. Mm. Oh, my skinny dips. Anyway, I'll just... I was just thinking I might get a bit of mothage happening. How many different ways can I use the moth? I'm going to put a bit of... Because I've got that black ink on there, so it'll help, help it stick. So this is Shady Lady. And I don't know what this will look like. Maybe if I could, I'll stamp over the top of that one and that one. Let's have a look. I don't know what this will do. Oh, just gives it a watercolour effect. Um, with the other ink there. Hmm, that's quite interesting. And... Uh, Yes, I hope lovely little Princess Kate will. Just as, you know, for every person going through something. Oh, now I don't want the little magics and the, um, these little antennas. These little moth eels. I'm going to use this as a collar here. And I'm really going to wiggle that around to make sure I get a bit of a better impression. This is the thing about stamping in an art journal. Now you're not going to get a perfect impression. So you just have to let go of that idea. I'm going to finish with her having a moth here as well. well there we go, that's better. The page is a bit more even. Uh, but for her, I might even have the moth wings on her back, but I might, uh, so okay, it's this side, so I've got to clear this side off. And I hope my, my big moth we found yesterday is off breeding. I couldn't find pictures of it anywhere. So I still don't know what kind of moth it was. It was huge, that wide. It had orange fluffy wings and just the most incredible shaped Things in the fattest body, it was like a mouse. It was the size of a mouse. And then inside their body, they've got, oh, I know other moths have got like um, tubicles that come out and they spread their little pheromones, their little scents, so the moths can find each other. And I'm going to put this little moth wing so she'll have that on her back. Oh, I didn't clean it off. Oh, that's all. I'll hide that in her body and no one will be the wiser. So should I then counterbalance having it there? No, we'll do that. Okay. Um, and then just oh, let's do a bit of drawing and painting. Now I've got a bit of that black stamp ink in my water brush, so I'm going to, well, it might have stained the petals, but I'm going to... Um, oh, she's still drying, her cheeks are still drying. I think I might give her this hair. I might give her this cloud hair, that because that'll look pretty under her moth. So I'm just going to actually just paint through the stencil. And this is the Shady Lady colour. Of course, I can change the shape. The stencil's just there to give some little ideas. Oh, that would look nice with pigment pebble in it too. I just I love the cloudy hair. Oh, and you can audition and just see if you like... Um, Oh, one cloudy hair might have to do something different. So she's got a cloud going that way. Then this one, because she's got a bow tie, 
she's a bit more um, curled up, a bit more. She's got a bit more of a victory roll situation. She's a bit more of a boogie woogie, singing the boogie woogie bugle boy. So this is layer cake under here. I'm just adding some of this shady lady. Deepening that shadow. And where is Ruby Tuesday? I think we need a bit more colour in the lips. And that iridescence will still come through. And this one, oh, I might do the pink. Um, no, no, it might go moth dust. Hang on. So I've got all these golds to have, these ones need to go over the top of other creatures. I'm going to go with a gold here. Oh, she's quite glamorous. Oh, she's Erica Jane. Oh, I'm going to put a bit of this purple iridescence in here oh I might give that to the moth let me give her a little bit of eye colour too while I'm here just this underlying eye colour got a little blue beepers and once this starts to get dry that's when I can also start to add pencil and Whatever else I like, that's going to still just need a little bit of time to dry. And this will give a different look to everything again. And I can add a bit of shading. I can also start to think of what, what are these little figures. Well, she's got a big butterf a big moth as her... Like as a bow tie motif. So these little forest guardians, I think. So they might have little, little um, what are they? Wood nymphs, perhaps. I'll just give them some little simple flowing bodies for now. This is the uh, ink in the, uh, this is Deja Blue from the Skinny Dip in here. Oh, I might, I might even do a bit of collage I'm feeling like, I'll just see. But I think I just need to give all my inks just a little bit of time because I've put the other watercolour on top of them just to let them dry and settle in a bit. So I might head off to the uh, forest protest, help save. Well, try and get governments to listen and say, we just don't need it. If we're going to do all this renewable energy and all the other things that have, you know, for environment, let's actually look after the all of the environment what do you reckon i love koalas you know i'd like to see them uh survive into the future and in order to do that they need something to sit in so <laughs> we need to stand up for these things oh my gosh We don't need like it's just, I mean everyone's got their own thing that they're passionate about. Mine's the trees, the forest, the animals, and art supplies. Okay, guilty. 
Okay, I really, I'm going to go. It's just, it's hard when I'm having this much fun. Oh, honestly. Ugh, this is so much fun. So I can do art makeup that I just would never do myself because I can't even, my eyes just aren't. <laughs> Wingtips, that, that was me at one stage. But I want them to be happy. So I go, oh, whoops. Well, she's really, really happy now. Sorry about that, love. Oh, well, I'll sort you out. And just because I'm an analytical person, the reason that happened, that's never happened before, is I'm hovering my hand because I've got watercolour everywhere. I'm rushing. And, uh, yeah, I think, I don't know what happened there. Happy accident. As most accidents turn, turn out to be, there's usually, there's always a silver, there's always a, cloud, a silver lining. Okay. We're starting, we're on a roll. I've got the, my two pages happening. All I wanted to show you was how you can use the, you know, different art supplies. And of course, there's tons of others you can use in there too. And uh, just showing you a little bit more of these gorgeous uh, girls. I mean, using these as collage shapes as well um, and to cut out from, I would, I'll do that as another thing actually because um, that looks fantastic with the hair too, especially in these graphic shapes. Um, so the other thing that I used was the Magic Within stamp. That was from the last collection. Uh, what else? And the Side Chick um, stamp and stencil set. So you can find everything on my website or uh, on the Creative Expressions website or anyone that stocks Creative Expressions uh, supplies could probably get them for you if they don't have them. And uh, yes, yeah, Creative Expressions actually sell directly if you're in the UK uh, off their website and the link is in the description. Uh, otherwise, oh, and that was the other thing I could tell you is we have a, as well as bundles, um, this beautiful gift. Oh, oh I think my mum took the other washies out on the other table. There's another gorgeous washi I can show you. Uh, and that's a free gift when you get the bundle, um, the washi set. And it's really the only way you can get it. And you can use that to flip the stencil around. So this is uh, all examples of skinny dip and using pencil over the top, um, spraying through the stencils. That's the FaceTime stencil set. Uh, and there's the other gorgeous ones as well um, with all the gorgeous new little skinny dippies. Mm. Okay, my friends, well, thank you. I'll have a quick little, um, yes, you can stamp onto tissue paper for collage. You can print on tissue paper uh, for collage. And I also have my own tissue papers and you can use them to cut out. But um, yes, do that. Using the washi tape for collage too is wonderful. Um, okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I'm just having a look to see if there are any little questions I can answer. I think we're good. And I will see you later. Um, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. And if you've got time, come, come and march in your city, wherever you are in Australia. Or if you're worried about I'm sure there are other environment not so much the environment just seems so big and of course that's important but forests for me it's just even if I just nail it down to trees I want something for koalas to sit in I don't even care if I see them sitting in there I just want I just want something there for them to sit in okay <laughs> bye